Pretty bad. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna mulligan this one. Play some tunes. I'll definitely keep this. Um, I think I can get an unholy heat out of here. Maybe I should have put bolt. Please don't kill my ragavan. Please don't kill my ragavan. Be a lot cooler if you didn't. No. Ponder? No. And is it a murktide mirror? My hand is not very good for the mirror. Uh, okay. Definitely want the EI. Do I want counter spell as well? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna keep both of these. Damn it. I had to put it in the other order just in case I had to use this fetch for like a dash ragavan. I think that's the better of the cards, but. Didn't matter. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to go land go though. Look at this mirror match. Gotta be slow and patient with these expressives so I get all the value. Would not mind a land. Merc Snooze! <laughs> no, I don't play that deck anymore. It's just not good right now. It's really poorly positioned. You gotta just... Just accept the beauty of Murktide here, SBS. You get to cast spells, creatures, instants, play lands. I mean, what more do you want? I'm going to look at the data from the RC and make a final decision. But as of right now, I'm like 95% playing Murktide and feeling medium about it. I don't think you can really be playing Murktide and be like, you know, I feel amazing going into this tournament. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I know you got a kid there, SBS, so it makes sense that you're snoozing off. All right. Well, I don't want to be the one to blink first, but I think I should. Is it uh, Mark Tobiash? Uh, in my, um, SCG next weekend. Oh, I do like the ton of, uh, okay. This list is kind of nice. And I like only three sagas. Are we back? <laughs> I I do think the deck needs this kind of stuff. Oh, no, Ragavan. Oh, I like it. I mean, yeah, Ragavan's terrible right now, so I get it. All right, back to this. Probably just let this go. 
and be sad about it. Oh yeah. Yep. The whole breach bolt thing when that fair uh when that fair breach phenomenon was going around. Okay. This is a bit scary. Yeah, I'm going to counter this just because this bolt is not going to reliably be able to deal with it. And if they go to counter this, then I can start my turn with bolt next turn and then kill it since that's their second spell. Pretty fine with that with that interaction. I'm sure I'll lose to a Merc Tide later, but shit. Well, that's a problem. Still think I probably have, oh, never mind. Never mind, everything's fine. Life is easy. I'm all in. I think we're probably still behind, especially if they have a Merc Tide, but here we are. Give me a preordain or something. Ooh. Oh, agreed, Fern. And honestly, if I was able to just be playing some modern for fun and I didn't have, you know, two events to get ready for, I would try more breach. And I will try more breach here at some point, but uh yeah, right now, this month of February is going to be crazy. Shit. It's going to be very crazy. Well, if I didn't mulligan and I still had that on Holy Heat, this would be fine. Yeet? I don't even know if I want to play DRC. We are indeed dead. If I play it and they don't attack and I just chump attack into it, that feels bad. But honestly, I don't think they're going to do that. But yeah, I, I just have a crazy February. I'm going to play Hartford, commentate the RC, both modern. And then I have three weeks to get ready for Pioneer Unlimited. Oh, they did go for that. Interesting. Bolt? Don't counter that. No. Oh. Ray. Yeah, I haven't done a backpack stream in so long, though, that I wanted to. And I had a plan for a long time, to be honest. Bird law. No, I think I, I think I know what I need. It's unholy yeet. Well, that was fortunate. Yeah, with Pierce backup, that was very fortunate. All right, if they have a bolt, no, that doesn't really do it. I'll, I'll attack with both. I could get punished here. Right. Well, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, if they counterspelled that, I was in. Yep. DRC is a messed up magic card.
That was fortunate. All right. All right, I'm gonna take these five out. Bring in dispute, purse for sure. Maybe this, probably this. I'm bringing a fluster storm and just leave in one DRC. Yeah, we were looking real behind there, that's for sure. Buster Storm's okay, I don't really like it actually, so I think I'm gonna leave one DRC. The card can be a liability. Keep it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not terrible. Not terrible. Everything's kind of contextual. You gonna spell pierce my preordain? Pretty good vibes, to be honest. See what you're drawing. Mismatch islands, hideous. Uh-oh. No way I'm getting got with my one land double preordained bobble hand, right? Okay, so unless they have Stern Scolding, dashing Regavan here is just insane. Or I just play Regavan and have Spell Pierce back up. Both are good. I think it's dash Regavan, because if they just go land three, unholy heat it, and I only have one mana available, then it is not great, so. And if they have the Stern Scolding, they have it. Sucks. Boo! I chose wrong. That's okay. I definitely chose poorly there. All right, just preordained to try to hit a land drop. Wow, I can't even protect this? Okay, I guess you got me. Damn. Just guy breaches on screen? Okay, well, we're gonna watch after this. I love when Skura's there. Skura's always putting uh, Just Guy Breach up. Yikes, I'd like some land, please. Yeah. Fuck. Well, Hearst would have been the better play, I guess. F.
we'll just say go. I had a lot of small decision points that were all very punished. Otherwise, I think we'd be miles ahead. Okay, I'm gonna play Brazy B. If I top deck a land, I can go hearse with counter spell. Okay, so the last card's a Ragavan. So I know hearse will resolve if I get a land. Hmm. Could just play Ragavan and hearse. Nah, I think I want to get value off my counter spell. So I think I'm just going to play right. I could just dash Ragavan. Yeah, because what if I, like, hit a Murtide, you know? All right. I'm glad I played Brazen Bar to get that Unholy Heat out of there. Murtide! Okay, here we go. Can't have any more counter spells, I feel. You've cast so many. Don't merc tide me. All right. I'm just going to cast this and just cast hers. With my feelings. Sorcery, sorcery, sorcery. Oh, whoops. Instant, 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 instant. Okay. Oh, I love seeing some grinding station cards, though. It's just a work of art, you know? Uh-oh. Preordain into EI. Got a Ragavan. It's like a dead Ragavan to me. Yeah. Give me a hit. Ooh, bird law. Um, preordain an EI to hold down delirium. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. still good. Well, I kind of hope the Rhinos player wins so we can watch a game three on camera. Uh-oh. Arctide still around. Shit. All right. Well, guess we'll say go. Now we're in trouble. <clears throat> Maybe I should have just traded with Ragavan. Definitely take it. Okay. Hello.
<clears throat> they are hellbent. Do 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 Eat these. All right. Well, that was bad. Drawing quite bad. Six. Yeah, I do think I want to counter here. Okay, so we'll leave Bolt. Shredder to hand, I guess. All right, well, I think we need to crew. Could attack with bolt, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. Don't think I want to attack with both. But I will just kill this so they can't chump lock. And then I'll just take six. All right. Close game. Oh, what up, Danny? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I was up late as well. Uh-oh. Another one? Oh, wow. We're really copying each other here. Yeah, I mean, Scam's a great deck. It's definitely my uh, my backup deck here. I mean, they're going to be Scamming or Merc Tiding. And honestly, my, I might both. Uh, you know, I might play Scam one day, Merc Tide the other day. Start with Merc Tide, I think, and then, and then Scam the next day since it's two 10Ks. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's a good deck. Assault Loma, I did see that from uh, Karate Dom, right? That deck looks sweet. That looked really sweet. It hasn't been doing good at the EU? Yeah, what are the percentages looking like? Have they put out win percentages? Yeah, nice. Nice. Yeah, what's Merc Tide at? Probably doing pretty well, huh? And Rhinos? Well, they don't have a slam dunker here. Hey, that's, that's a perfect Merc Tide deck right there. Yeah, sounds about right. Do they have Land Bolt? Maybe just no Bolt or no Land? Uh, 
All right. I think I'm going to take it. And if we top deck on Holy Heat, we win? I mean, they could still land. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that uh, Breaches playing. I want to watch, but we want to finish this match first. Do, do, do. Didn't bolt. Oh. Huh? Probably Shredder first. Did they really keep a spell pierce? <clears throat> or a stern scolding? Whatever. Bird law everywhere. Sorcery, 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 instant. I don't want to animate as it's a 6-6 six, six and I can actually get unholy heated. Now the real question is, do I want to hearse now? And I don't think so. Yep, yep. I can either hearse to grow my own Murktide or take away Delirium for them if they try to unholy heat me. Fail to find. What does that say about their hand? There's a steam vent. Nothing because they're, it's all face up. All right. All right, Bird Law prevails. That was a good uh, couple games. Yog, Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you got it ready to go. What's the sideboard looking like? Yeah, it's just a lot of blue cards. Just being a lot more controlling. I love three... Uh, um, three Urza Saga somewhere, right? Yeah, three Urza Saga I like too. Impossible, yeah. Every week, I think Breach is back. All right, well, I gotta eat this. All right, this is our bad matchup. I haven't had to play against it yet. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, Yogg is definitely Murktide's worst matchup, so this should be... uh. This should be a good beating. Breach isn't back until it's back. Well, that's true. That's a factual statement. Okay. So I think I'll still have to just leave Counterspell Mana open. That makes DRC more tempting, but I don't think I want a Grist to happen. 
that seems like an easy way to just get wrecked. So, uh, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna bobble myself. Ooh, I'll keep that one. That actually makes me wanna play DRC. But if I get upkeep bowmastered, I'm so wrecked. If they already have bowmaster, I'm just destroyed. Doesn't seem worth the risk. Not worth the risk. Next turn I can go DRC plus hold up one of the counter spells. Well, I think they play four. But honestly, I think they would have played Bowmaster that turn instead of Young Wolf. So I think I should have probably done it, but. But that's okay. <sighs> it's just tough for me to get threats out. It's either land go so I can stern scolding and end step uh, bowmaster plus counter yog to be as defensive as I possibly can, or I get down one of the threats. I could go Shredder Pass. I kind of like Shredder Pass, because then I don't have to counter Bowmaster. And then maybe they slam Yogg. They're like, well, you don't have the, you have one mana available type thing. I'm gonna try it. This is a high, a, a little bit of a higher risk. I have to let Bowmaster resolve though if they go for it. Fuck. Do I? <laughs> I think I still do, but. Yeah, I bet, I bet the play is gonna be me regretting not just going land go to stern scolding this and counter spell the next thing. Thank God. Thank God it wasn't cord for Yogg. All right, now we're doing okay. And drift away. Probably just DRC, Bolt, Orcish Baumeister. Play land, counterspell, draw, discard, whatever I draw. Guess I have to bolt first. Uh, because DRC would trigger and then Bowmaster gets another trigger. It's maybe not that big of a deal, but it's definitely something, you know? Hopefully we don't have to use Counterspell this turn and we can just Big Merc Tide with Counterspell back up. Ah, you're not silly. Ask questions all the time. That's how you get better. Even if the questions maybe are obvious. Someone who asked the most questions that I've ever heard on in my entire life was John Finkel. In testing, would just ask some of the most like, duh, comments. And I just realized, I'm like, yeah, he 
he learns the game so well because, well, he asks every single question and it's a good trait to have, I think. I kind of want to keep this, actually. If I'm just trying to look for a counter spell, then I can go Murktide, Bobble, Loot, and then if it's not a counter spell, it can maybe be one later. So I'm going to keep this, actually. Yeah, I mean, Shredder feels decent to me. Like, it's maybe not the absolute best card ever, but... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to have a card to loot away. All right, never mind. This is probably stupid. Oh, well. But I still get to kind of look for Counterspell here. Get two looks at it. Oh. Shit. Maybe I just keep that and not play Murktide? Guess Cord still gets me. Hmm, this is tough. Cause what would they do if they yog me? I don't think they can like do much. Like against an eight eight Merc Tide? I don't think. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then if I leave subtlety on top and then they cord for Yogg, I feel real stupid. I'm definitely keeping subtlety on top. It's just do I if I want to play Murktide or not. They're not going to grief me, but... All right, I lied. I'm going to go like this. Do I just want to make, so, Iron Bobble. I could make it a 3-3. Three, three. Or I could make it a 6-6 six, six and then keep Delirium. 9, 10, 11. It's the same amount of damage if I get rid of all the spells. All right. Forgot about that. All right, hopefully their card in their hand isn't anything big because they're top decking Wall of Roots. I still don't have them dead next turn though is the problem. Oh no! Okay, well, I mean, that's still great. Well, it would have been big brain to keep the subtlety on top, huh? Damn. Um. All right, at least now if they play Wall of Roots, I'd get to draw. <laughs> you did tell me. Me smart. Fair enough. Oh, that sucked. And I exiled all the spells. Yeah, this was all... Okay. I'm just going to minimize the efficiency or effectiveness of Yogg if they get it. 
Oh shit, I probably should have stacked that differently. I should have put Shredder first. That was stupid. This guarantees a counter on Shredder. All right. This way, I get to kill a young wolf. Bolt to the face is not a good play. Because now I can kill Grist and still present lethal. And deal with one of their creatures. But I should have stacked that differently, so I would have had a preordained to draw next turn. That would have been better. Don't have endurance, I guess. Yeah, things did line up pretty well for me this game, to be honest. I actually made some good decisions. Yeah, it's Wall of Roots and a mystery card. You're right. Looks like it's not a blank. Your wall resolves. I don't know. I, I honestly haven't played it yet from the Murktide side, honestly, or the Yogg side. It's just, uh, people say it's very bad. And uh, uh, Gracias Portantos, the cyborg guy I'm looking at, says that this is the worst matchup as well. So I definitely trust him. But everything in, in modern is pretty close. It's not like it's unwinnable. I'll cast that. Are they trying to endurance me? If so, they'd have to do it now. I'll just show them they're dead. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. All right. Let's see. Oh, I think I remember how he sided in these matchup. He just turns into a full control deck. I don't know if I agree with it yet, of course, but we'll find out. Not this. Oh no, it does bring in the hearse as well. All the creatures, yep, that makes a lot of sense. They are all huge liabilities against a lot of things. So this is what Gracias does. I think it is. Yeah, Forest 90. I think it's a pretty good deck right now. The Blood Moon doesn't seem great, but I can see how it could steal a game randomly. And Spell Pierce seems okay, but I guess it only counters cords. So, yeah, all right. I like it. All right. Where is it control now, boys and girls? Yeah, Cauldron's a thing, but with two Brotherhood's End, it's not so terrible. Am I crazy that I want to keep this? Kind of sweet if we get one land. And we have Heat to control some keep. I think I'm going to keep this. Screw it! I'm not afraid. Start with the one-two, please. 
Not a young wolf. Okay. That should help. I might as well keep Bobble on top to get another card in the yard. Still draws and sees the same amount of cards, I guess. And they I have no risk of Bowmaster. I actually should have did it during their draw step, but... In case they have a thought sees, but whatever. Trot him. Bird time. I'd prefer to not have to subtlety, but I'll do it. I, of course, do not like that. I can probably get rid of an unholy heat. I was considering that it feels kind of lame to do so but i do just gotta get rid of that cauldron i'd love to just start blowing up creatures but do that or we just ei but like what am i hoping to ei into i don't think ei this turn is very good god do we, are we just brother attending It is just such a good card against us, so all right. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna be sad about it. I'm gonna be grouchy about it. But of course, there's one thing that completely wrecks me next turn. Land cord. They have exactly land cord, we're just dead. Didn't even get rid of a card. Hell yeah. Or if they have second cauldron, that's also punishing. I feel like you're just always crossing your fingers against this deck. Like you can, you can prepare yourself around one half of their draw, but if they have the other half, you're just in trouble, you know? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, subtlety still hits Yogg. Subtlety hit, still hits Yogg, even though if it's delighted, right? Oh, fuck. They had two cords? God damn it. That sucks. You said cord, cord. I guess we're done. That sucked.
Okay. Oh. Yeah, we just needed to not see Yogg and play this turn, and they could have cast it, and we would have been fine. Now I'm pretty sure we're dead. We're dead. Yogg just did Yogg things. I do like this post board game plan against the deck, though. Just kill everything. I mean, I have six ways to deal with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. And you just try to kill every single creature. I do think I want another Stern Scolding, though. That card's been pretty nice. And I think we saw Gracias Portanto beat a Yogg player. In the top four, I want to say. It's definitely possible. And I felt like if we didn't have Yogg come into play that turn, I think we were we were um, really ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it hits everything. I don't think Borrower is good, no. Okay. I kind of want to bobble myself, and if I see a land, just untap land and say go. So then I can play Shredder on an empty board. A little bit of an unorthodox play, but. All right. Now I can kill whatever they play here. Would I stern scolding young wolf? Rob's not. Ugh. Maybe I do. I don't think so. All right, young wolf, you got it. Yeah, I agree. Rude. That's pretty good. I gotta bottom these. Feels bad. I don't think I've ever bottomed two EIs in my life. Shit. All we needed was a land. Ugh. Well, I have to kill Delighted Halfling. Oh. Well, that was extremely punishing. Yeah, that could be worse.
Think I have to EI into a land. I'm behind enough. Need to hit our land drops. Oh god. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna take Bobble as well. Is it Guildgate? Nice. Probably just Shredder Pass. But I'm debating if I want to go Island or just Canal. I think I could just Canal here. Nah, I don't like that play. I think I like Shredder first, but I do want to play the Island. Shredder still stabilizes the board. And Murktide, I can make large, larger next turn. Get full value. I can always cast into fire these two undying creatures. Dryad Arbor, you are dead. Not if they attack, maybe I wouldn't, but... Yeah, definitely bolting to loot. Well, one thing I that's nice that I can do, I can cast into fire these two creatures and then clean them up the turn after. Just in case they have grist. I'm going to hold this back. All right, if I can get through this turn, I feel great. But this is like the turn where they took over last turn, you know? Let's go! Didn't expect that. Their hand must have been trash. Yeah, because they easily could have like three mana removal spells. Like if they have a bolt, they have a bolt. That's okay. But they could have like skewer where they need to play the creature. No, I think this matchup's actually like 56%. <laughs> All right, this is working out splendidly. This is working out splendidly. Go monkey, go!
Don't need that much removal. I want counter spell. Now it's their blaze turn. <coughs> I saw that. I saw that. How cool. Whoa, double suspend. Okay. <coughs> well, this isn't going well. Where's my Teferi? Oh, why not lightning helix? Is not going well. Well, I guess I'll just take six. Yeah, no Eidolons on my watch. Take it. Hmm. I think I'm happy with that. Might even bolt their face at end step. Definitely bolting their face now. Look, I'm the burn player now. Got a five five. <laughs> I'm gonna guess seven. Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Not a god at drawing counter spell. If they're main decking deflecting palms, they need help. <laughs> Let's see, does this guide have burn on here too? That'd be cool. It does. Real, real deep stuff here. That makes sense that that's all we'd really want. What else does burn do? Not much. Stern scolding seems quite bad though. Just don't know what else I would want. Maybe a cast into the fire. That's still pretty bad. I mean, when you're on the draw, you're not really getting their one drops, you know? Maybe Brotherhood's End on the draw is better than Stern Scolding. Just in case they get carried away. All right. I'm here with it. On the play, I'll definitely bring Stern Scolding back in. Do the decks don't even play Eidolon anymore. Eidolon hasn't been in burn decks for a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that, that card has been extinct for a long time. <laughs> oh spell skittles have you you've set down your precious grinding stations as well everyone we're gonna we're gonna need a short moment of silence for me and spell skittles grinding stations okay thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. One day we'll grind again. <laughs> uh. 
This meme will never get old. Cain and Abel! <laughs> yes, I love all those things as well. Thank you for the four months and on a three month streak. Appreciate you, Cain and Abel. <laughs> had to get a had to get one last pretty Ricky in. Yeah, I, I'm Merc Tiding in Hartford. Are you going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Spell Skittles. Have you seen right now there's a breach deck that is seven and one? Playing four preordain, four expressive iteration, no ragavan, so we might have to be back. I've been doing quite well with, with uh, Murktide though. Yeah, I, I, I know both of us are gonna test it out. We're required by law. Now, would I rather Ragavan try to dash and hit a one mana removal spell off their deck? Honestly, the odds of me preordaining into a removal spell versus Ragavanning hitting a removal spell off Burns deck, it's probably pretty damn close. You know? Plus I get a treasure. Well, they'd have four bolts, they'd have four skewers. A creature would be pretty good. Ooh, I get to look now. Okay, well now we get to see. This is this makes it easier. Damn. Don't want a rip bull. Yeah, I'd use the treasure, but I'd get a free removal spell. That's that dedicated. Do, 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 do. I guess I could just DRC now and preordain and block. Yeah, I like that. That does give me the D. Yeah. This matchup should be good though, I would think. I have to remember Shredder and Bobble Triggers though in Hartford. Uh, I'm gonna miss something. Okay, I do want a counter spell. I think that's worth it. <laughs> good for you uh i tried scam and i've always hated rhino's dog so i just made the adult decision to give it up um and i think scam's okay i'm bringing murktide and scam with but i'm almost 99 percent sure to play murktide if it top it's okay <laughs> Spell Skittles, I love that at the beginning of this stream, you're like, hey, we did it, man. We're both off. We're both off grinding station. And by the end of this match, we're like, honestly, we could be back in though. You know, like, wow, we, we lasted a full like five minutes until we started talking like, but Breach could be good now. And you're like, you're right. It could be. Let's play. <laughs> we're children. <laughs> Well, guess I just go Regavan with Counterspell backup. Since I have to attack. Uh, nope, not going. I don't know. Ross hasn't been playing a lot of magic, so I, I know he's not cued. It is the coolest deck. It's still probably not that well positioned, but... Um, I'm gonna counter it. I want the bigger bird. Oh yeah, deck is the coolest. It's the coolest deck, but I also really like making it pass round three or four, you know? Oh, is that only for one? Okay, well, that's still a lot of damage. We are in trouble here. Not 
Not good. Yeah, this song slaps. I no longer know. I mean, Post Malone probably blew him up, right? Emergency phone call, honey. Yeah, I'd wager that as well. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't change the fact. Like, it, it's Post that wants to be on the song, but that doesn't change that it's going to blow him up, you know? I've never actually heard of Noah Khan, but I'm just now looking. He has 34 million monthly listeners. That's still outrageous. Wow. Why was that not cast then? Stick season? What's that? Is that one of his songs? All right, adding it to Q. Love drunk and alone. Much and but yeah, Stick Season is Noah's number one song with 500 million listens. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Impressive. All right, fluster you. Drunk, I die drunk, I die for you. I'll keep that. Well, I'm gonna counter this rip ball. Okay. Yeah, I usually am not the biggest folk fan. Like, I, I don't really like bluegrass. That's one of the few genres that I actually do not like. Otherwise, I just love all kinds of music, you know? But if this Monastery Swift Spear wasn't here, I'd feel great. But now, what, am I dead to Boros Charm? Almost. Well, Ragaman was great in the deck until Bowmaster got printed. That that just killed the card. What the fuck? Shit. I need a removal spell, and then I'm just gonna die to a top deck burn spell, probably. I don't think that's good enough. Well, a Shredder does prevent me from dying. I could go top, top, play Shredder, dash Ragavan. If they don't draw a burn spell, maybe I get out of it. Because they're going to go to six. I would have six for the crackback, but they won't attack with Swift Spear. And then they'll just chump Ragavan. It's like, you know, this is about as good as it gets, though. Or if... Or if Ragavan was something else, like a counterspell, that would be better, I guess. So, I'll bottom this, I'll keep this on top, I'll play this. I'll attack, and I'll be sad, and I'll die. Yeah, Regavan wouldn't have won the game here, so I like bottoming it. Counterspell.
Merktide Gamers! Merktide Gamers! We'll flex on them. We're Merktide now, y'all. Woo! All right, so I've played 15 matches now with the deck. I had a 5-0, a 3-2 where I punted badly, and it should have been a 4-0, and now this 4-1. So, 9... I should be 13, uh, 13 and two, but I'm 12 and three. And these are my first 15 matches with the deck. I'll lock it in.